Hi, X is from Mexico, and my family has lived in Mexico for centuries. Now, the last 300 years, we've lived here in San Antonio, Texas, since it was Mexico until about 150 years ago. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about the beautiful Mexican culture, the stories and the art and the beautiful cities. When the Europeans got to Mexico City, which the language of the Aztecs said was Mexico Tenochtitlan, it was the largest city on the face of the earth. And there were highways and botanical gardens, museums, and giant pyramids that had been there for thousands of years. There were all kinds of wonderful food treats that the Spaniards had never seen before, like popcorn and chocolate and corn tortillas and guacamole with corn chips, things that had never been seen anywhere in Europe. Tacos, enchiladas, tamales, all kinds of great treats. Well, today, my favorite Mexican treat is paletas. Paletas are frozen fruit popsicles in flavors like mango and strawberry, coconut, lime, peach, grape, lemon, chocolate, cherry, and my favorites, watermelon and pecan. So, I'm going to read you a story called What Can You Do With a Paleta? about the wonderful things that your imagination can come up with to do with a fantastic icy treat. Where the big velvet roses bloom red and pink and fuchsia. Where the accordion plays sassy and sweet where the smell of crispy tacos or juicy fruta or buttery tortillas floats out of every window, and where the paleta wagon rings its tinkly bell and carries a treasure of icy paletas in every color of the sarape. That's my barrio, my neighborhood. But what can you do with a paleta? Well, you can paint your tongue purple and green if you have a purple and green paleta and scare your baby brother. Ah! You can learn how to make tough decisions like strawberry or coconut. If there's a little puppy in the neighborhood you've been wanting to get to know and he's kind of scared to come up to you, you can tear off a little bit of that icy treat and say, here, puppy, 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 puppy. And you can make new friends. If you have a blue paleta, you can give yourself a big blue mustache. Or as all those wonderful, colorful drops fall off the paletas, you can create an artistic masterpiece. You can use one to cool off like Mama does. Oh, it's so much cooler here in this room with a paleta in here. My uncle, my tío, once won a baseball game by handing a paleta to the batter right as the ball was being pitched. They won the game. You can help the senora at the fruit stand to make it through a long, hard day by offering her a paleta. But I think the very best thing to do with a paleta is to lick it and slurp it and sip it and munch it and gobble it all down where the big velvet roses bloom red and pink and fuchsia, where the accordion plays sassy and sweet, where the smell of crispy tortillas and 
crispy tacos and buttery tortillas and juicy fruit that floats out of every window and where the paleta wagon rings its tinkly bell and carries its treasure of icy paletas in every color of the sarape. That's my barrio. And that's my Mexican neighborhood where our culture celebrates so many wonderful things, family and friends and fiestas and food and art and song and all the best things in life. So please remember that X is for that middle X in Mexico, which is only pronounced Mexico in English because in French it's Mexique and in Spanish it's Mexico and in the language of the Aztecs it's Mexico, Tenochtitlan. Thank you for listening to my story about Mexico.